Hey there guys and welcome to the first of my replacement LPs. Yeah, I can't upload any of the other ones anymore because of the time limit problem I'm having right now. So I'll have to do some other games in the meantime. The first of which will be Mario Strikers Charged. A pretty awesome soccer game for Nintendo Wii. Now, I will be using PD Piranha, who is the final unlockable character. And yeah, Fire Cup. Six matches, three opponents, you play each opponent twice, most points moves on to the elimination round or whatever. First opponent is Yoshi in the Wastelands. Now, soccer, real soccer is nothing like this game. As you can see, all characters are wearing like armor and helmets and stuff. Because this game is pretty much soccer turned up to 11. The violence is insane. But I'm sure you'll figure that out soon enough. Okay, Petey's got the ball. Crap. Dry Bones. Yeah, my team is Petey Piranha as Captain and Koopa Troopa, Birdo and Dry Bones as backup. Because you can pick, like, uh, your squaddies from six or seven generic Mario enemies to choose from. And he has... Um, also a Birdo, a Monty Mole, and a Shy Guy. Anyway... I'm just wailing ball after ball on the freaking goalie, and he stops them all. And yeah, the goalies are uh, those crocodile enemies from the Donkey Kong games. I guess they couldn't think of any Mario enemies to- Oh, come on! And yeah, you can uh, charge the ball by holding the shoot button, which makes it glow, it goes from like pink to yellow to orange to white. And the more it's glowing, the faster it'll go and the harder it'll hit and stuff. So, when the ball's white, it can pretty much go in pretty decently, but it doesn't happen. Okay, Birdo, go get it. Koopa, pass it. No, not the... Oh, crap, Shy Guy got it. Come on. Jeez. There we go. Finally, PD scores the 1-0. Yeah, Petey's so awesome. He does limbo dancing on the soccer field. Alright, let's watch the replay. Beautiful. Right in the corner. How do you even call that? I'm not really an expert on soccer terms. Anyway. Alright, here we go. Already in the lead. Now, of course... Oh, yeah. Forgot to mention, each stage has a gimmick. This stage has occasional lightning strikes and a slippery floor. So characters run and tackle, slide tackle a lot farther than normal. Less traction overall and the lightning strike very much electrocute wherever the ball is always and fry everyone in the vicinity. Now you can actually use that to your advantage by quickly shooting the ball towards the enemy goalie who will also get electrified, pretty much allowing you a free goal if you can just get to the ball in time. Come on Koopa. And shoot. Each little helper character has what they call a skill shot. They do it whenever you hold the shoot button all the way in until it just automatically unleashes the shot and each character has a different one with different effects. For example Koopa Troopa encases the ball in a Koopa shell which shatters and stuns the goalie which pretty much makes him incapable of blocking any follow-up shots. Pretty handy in my opinion. And uh, I'm sure you'll see some of the other ones as well. Come on, come on, get the ball. And I like to play kind of offensively with my team. Each character also has like different statistics, like uh, shooting power and all that stuff. Oh, nice, 4-0. I'm dominating Yoshi. Uh, but anyways, yeah. There's four skills that the characters are judged in. Speed, power, technique, and... Uh, was it passing, I think? Or a uh, speed, defense, power, and technique, I think. And my character, Koopa Troopa, has uh, pretty much average stats overall. Like you can get uh, certain marks out of 10 in every stat. Koopa Troopa has 5 in every stat. So he's kind of like average. Now, Petey Piranha and Birdo have. 10 out of 10 in power and defense, but 3 out of 10 in movement speed and passing technique. So, yeah, they're very slow and they can't really pass the ball very well. 
and Dry Bones has 10 out of 10 in movement speed and defense, which pretty much makes him the ideal. Oh crap, 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 get the ball out of there before he shoots it in. Dry Bones is pretty much the ideal defense guy. To always have him in the back just in case your enemy gets the ball, Dry Bones can quickly intercept them and send it back to your team. But because he has 3 out of 10 in shooting power and in passing the ball, he is not going to be scoring any goals for you. Anyway, that was Dry Bones' skill shot there. He shoots an electrifying ball which also stuns the keeper, or goalie, or whatever, and sends the ball back to Dry Bones, who can then proceed to pass it to another, to it, like a teammate, and shoot it in. Come on, can I just get another, another goal before the time limit? No? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, screw you. Anyway, 6-0 victory. A great opening game for the season. He's so happy he does the limbo dance. And his pimp walk. But yeah, at least Petey is... You know, he takes good care of himself on the soccer field. You see that helmet he's wearing? Yeah. He doesn't want to get any head injuries. And he has quite a big head to injure. Anyway, match highlight number two. That yeah, was a decent goal. And what's the best goal of the match? Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it was another one. Oh, that? That was kind of lame compared to the other ones. Oh, well. Can't complain, I guess. I mean, 6-0 victory. Most soccer teams would kill for a victory like that. And I don't even have nearly as much ball possession as Yoshi had. Yeah, you don't need ball possession to win a game. Now, who's my next opponent so I can kick his ass? Uh, loading, loading... Oh, Mario! Alright. And unfortunately, when I'm playing against Mario, I'm supposed to wear my away colors. Now, some characters have these different colors, but some do not. Pretty much, uh... Many characters have red as their primary costume color, like Mario, Bowser, Bowser Jr., Petey Piranha... But whenever they uh, play against someone else with a red color, uh, Petey, M or Mario is pretty much always the one who keeps red, because red is his color. Bowser, Bowser Jr., and Petey Piranha all change their colors to yellow. Yeah. And then there's others like Luigi has the Monopoly on green, and uh, I think Donkey Kong, I mean, Wario has the priority on yellow. And some other, like Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, also wear yellow. And they turn to purple when they're playing against Wario. It all works out pretty well. Anyways, I'm off to a 1-0 lead after 8 seconds. And this stage is kind of annoying as well. Because, you see the rock tiles there? Yeah, you can play pretty normally on those. But on the sand here, your movement speed is dramatically reduced. Which can be pretty annoying. Also, occasionally, thwomps will rain from the sky, and 2-0, thanks to an awesome flying bicycle kick from Birdo. That was a sweet goal, just backflap, screw you, 2-0. Brilliant. Ah, the goalie didn't stand a chance. Now, screw you, Mario, I'm shooting again. Yeah, the AI is nothing to write home about in the earliest cup, but it will get pretty difficult later on. You do not want to know how long it took me to beat the final cup. Simply because I could do pretty well in the group stage and usually finish within the amount of contestants that carry on to the el elimination round, but then I would promptly get my ass kicked in the elimination round. And then you'd have to do the group stage all over again as well. So yeah, this game is not as easy as you may think. And Crappy got away and like, got in the way of my skill shot. Damn it. But yeah, Mario's team is kind of similar to mine. He also has a Koopa Troopa and a Birdo, except he has a Monty Molar. I have Dry Bones. Which I guess could work. His team isn't really good on defense, or movement speed for that matter. Because Mario has the same stats as Koopa Troopa. He has five in everything. And Monty Mole uh, also has three in movement. And passing, and ten in power and uh, defense. So his team isn't very fast. I mean, my dry bones can probably run circles around him. Ah, oh, come on, Thwomp, give me a break here. Don't crush Birdo, I need him. Her. Him, whatever Birdo is. Ah, oh, oh, crap, it was dry bones. 
Yeah, sometimes it can be kind of hard to tell the difference between Dry Bones and Koopa Troop because they do look kind of similar. Especially because they pretty much all have the same color, the same general shape. So it's kind of difficult to tell those two apart at times. Come on. Nope. Don't push me into the electric fence. Although I must say, real soccer games also need electric fences. I mean, no more balls going offside. And it would be so awesome if, like, another player pretty much slide tackles another player into the electric fence. And that's Birdo's skill shot. She shoots the ball encased in a giant egg. And if there is nothing between that egg and the goalie, it'll just go straight in. The goalie has no chance of blocking it. But if another player, be it one from your own team or the opponent's team, like happens to get in the way, the egg will break, but that player will be stunned for a while. So yeah, if you're wide open, that is the ideal skill shot to use. And... Oh yeah, that was a pretty nice goal, but yeah, anyway, 4-0 Vic... Oh, it's not over yet. Ah, thought we were done already. Oh, well, let's see if I can... Oh! That's gotta hurt. Oh crap, there's Mario's special power-up. I'm sure you may have noticed it by now, but there's been Koopa shells and bombs and bananas going all over the place. Yeah, you can use items as well. You'll get them when you get, like, tackled if you don't have the ball. Or if you, like, shoot a really powerful shot, but it gets blocked or something. Ah, 4-0. Bah. Oh, well, still one. And these items can be used to create lots of havoc and chaos on the field and turn it all much more insane. And each team captain has their own special ability. Mario and Luigi will turn giant and be able to stomp on other players. I told you this game was incredibly violent compared to other soccer games. And PD Piranha's captain ability is not that fantastic. I mean, he can spit goop, which knocks opponents away. And creates like a slowing down effect, kind of like the sand on this particular field. So it's not the most useful, but it has a little niche you can use it to work with. But anyways, won the first two games of the cup, so I'm probably at the top of the rankings right now. Especially because all the other ones probably haven't really done as well as I did. But anyways, we will play against Donkey Kong in the next part of Mario Strikers Charge. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.